what's going on everybody this is Dylan Talk Sports my name is Dylan in today's video what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be discussing Michigan scandal of the whole sign stealing scandal I recently made a video kind of covering it giving my opinion on kind of whole thing how it's kind of going on but just recently there was some more news coming out about this a guy the one that's been stealing the signs for Michigan helping them get the signs has been actually buying tickets and going to other people's games there's a lot of details that we're gonna go into but the thing that I kind of want to go more in depth with is there is people out there other coaches of teams, analysts on TV that are actually trying to almost defend Michigan with this whole scandal. I'm gonna get into this and kind of explain what they're talking about. But without further ado, if you're going to enjoy today's video, make sure you do drop a like. And without further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see here, there's this whole article. I'll put the link down in the description if you wanna go read the entire thing for yourself. It's, it's a long one. But basically it kind of goes in here and you can see here where it's talking about this guy has purchased over 11 different big 10 school games he also purchased games to the penn state versus ohio state game that just happened recently you kind of go on and read it it is talked about how the way the plan was set up with these uh his scouts this guy yes he did not work alone he had like other scouts with him kind of helping out with him and as you can see here kind of with the elaborate plan it says uh, Stallions often purchased the tickets with his own credit card. According to sources, the sources added that the tickets at multiple venues were bought via the online retailers such as StubHub or SeatGeek. It also goes on to say the ticket purchasers fall into a seat location pattern somewhere around the 45 yard line and raised up enough to get a clear view of the opposite sideline. It then goes on to say here one source says Stallions bought some tickets across from the home sideline in order to have scout the home team which Michigan played that season. But the source added that there have been also tickets purchased on the other side of the stadium facing the sideline of the opponent, including one purchase across from the visiting sideline in the weeks before Michigan played Ohio State. Now, the way this whole thing is kind of going is it's starting to look a lot like Michigan is technically guilty. Whether Harbaugh knows about it, I feel like he does. But whether he does know about it or not, that's going to be proven at a later date. And it's kind of looking like it's going to be found guilty because there's a lot of analysts and people coming out that are basically saying, so what if they stole signs? To everybody steal signs all the time for those of you who have heard Deion sanders gave his kind of opinion on the whole thing he says quote i mean everybody's trying to get an edge everyone's trying to get whatever it is they can you could have had someone's whole game plan they can even mail it to you you still gotta stop it he goes on to say quote in football it's not as pronounced as baseball if i know a curveball is coming i got you with football i don't give a damn if you know a sweep is coming you still gotta swap it physically it's a physical game you got to stop it so it's a little tough I don't buy into all that stuff of someone's trying to steal stuff stealing that i don't buy into a lot of it you got to still play the game now the thing with deon sanders is he go on to kind of say back in his glory days of, of him playing for the cowboys the falcons and all those days you knew what kind of play was coming when it was fourth and one the best running back on the field was getting the ball when it was you need a big time throw third and 20 the best receiver was getting the ball here's the thing i understand that but there's times where if a defense automatically knows you're running the ball right here they're not going to drop four uh, safeties and corners back they're gonna have everybody just crash in or when they know a slant is coming their safety he's gonna do the little walk back and then he's gonna gun it right for that slant he's gonna jump the pick and for the analogy of Deion Sanders saying if you know a curveball is coming it's easy no Deion Sanders is not there are plenty of baseball players out there that will be able to tell you I could be told hey I'm throwing a fastball right down the middle you still have to hit it baseball I think is a different sport whenever it comes to stealing signs because I can tell you hey I'm throwing a fastball right down the middle or I'm throwing a sweeper or a slider or a curveball. Sometimes the movement on a baseball is a lot different than a fastball because if a curveball is coming in and you know a curveball is coming in, you obviously, you know the curveball is coming, but you don't know where in the strike zone he's going to be aiming to throw that ball. And you have like a split second decision of knowing where am I swinging at this. Now, the last layer of evidence that kind of came out here recently that is basically putting Michigan uh, guilty hammer down is a video that came out of them on the sideline last year against Ohio State, where you see, I believe it's like the first quarter, CJ Stroud, he's up the line, he snaps it, he goes for a check, he looks back at the sideline, he, they're getting their signal, they're getting told, okay, are you running this play, are you changing the play? They get their signal, they go back to the line, and you see immediately the Michigan sideline, they are looking across, and the second CJ is like turning back towards like, okay, I got the play, they are now almost like acting like they know exactly what's coming, and they are hollering at their guys like, like this almost as an intention of saying get back get back or throwing it deep you can bark and whistle all you want about that saying well they might have just been guessing no there was a lot of times in that game where it was like they had our number they knew exactly what we were doing at almost all times last thing i kind of want to leave it with is this is a bad analogy but i saw it on instagram and i kind of want to reiterate it in my own words as to what 
exactly what's going on with these people trying to defend Michigan. With what's going on, everybody's trying to defend Michigan and saying, well, we've been trying to steal signs all the time. You're always trying to get the advantage. Quarterback, they go up there, they're trying to read a defense. If they go up there and they can read it, okay, it's cover three. They can tell the receivers, okay, run here. You're going to get open in this, in, in this zone. Or for a defense, you're running up the last scrimmage. You, maybe you're trying to move around. You're trying to decipher, okay, which guy is going deep? Which guy is going to be staying in? But the part that they're not understanding is when it is literally in the rule book, you can't do it. Like I'll literally put it on the screen. It says here, NCAA bylaw 11.6.1 is off campus in person scouting of future opponents in the same season is prohibited. Meaning if it's in the rule book saying you can't do it, you can't do it. And the analogy I saw somebody online talk about to kind of compare this to is these people trying to say like, it's okay, it's fine if they do it. Imagine this like here it's against the rules you can't do it let's say in real life you're walking down the street somebody comes up to you they have a gun they aim it at your chest they say give me your wallet obviously you're going to give them their wallet or give them your wallet they run away and maybe all you had in there maybe you just had a few credit cards maybe a hundred dollars and your id let's think of it this way credit cards you can call get them canceled id you can get a new one hundred dollars so what but what are you going to do you're going to call 911 you're going to want to get the person arrested especially like the person maybe they didn't wear a mask they just you see their face you can call 911 get a sketch artist get them arrested boom but you know why you're doing that because it's against the law to steal someone's wallet put a gun to the chest and all that stuff it's illegal you're going to get them in trouble for that but what would you do if i came up to you and said the same thing you're saying right now of people do it all the time it's a hundred dollars you'll get over it. you can call get everything canceled get new stuff who cares and you might be looking at me saying i'm stupid to say that but it's a good analogy if you think about it last thing i'll kind of say is this uh i believe they're not going to be doing anything for michigan this season whenever it comes to a punishment if they do anything it'll be next season but put it this way with the way michigan is beating up on teams the past two years since this has kind of really been going on, they said it started about three years ago when this whole sign stealing thing started. About that time, Michigan started looking better. They've beaten Mich or Ohio State the past two years. Uh, now they've been able to just dominate everybody on th their schedule this year. If they go out there this year, go 12-0, beat Ohio State again, Big Ten title, win a playoff game, and somehow win the national championship through just dominating everybody, it's going to start smelling a little fishy out there The saying, yeah, you fucking cheated. You knew every sign that was for other teams. And then for the rest of their lives, they're going to have to look at that title with a little asterisk over top of it saying Michigan 2023-2024 National Championships for sign stealing. But other than that, that's all I got to discuss for today's video. Hopefully you guys did go into enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like. If you wanted to watch the entirety of today's video and you kind of had your own opinion on kind of how the whole thing's going, if you think they are cheating or not cheating, let me know what you think kind of, kind of, think of the analogy that I had of yes, they're cheating, but people think that it's okay. If it's cheating, it's cheating. If you have a different opinion on kind of the whole thing and the whole situation, let me know that in the comment section down below of if you think they're cheating or not cheating. And then if they are cheating, what you kind of think of the whole analogy of why people think it's just okay to cheat. If you are brand new to the channel and you're a fan of the content that I am posting here and you want to go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so. And do not forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified the second I post. But without further ado, this has been Dental Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.